name's Brogan, Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. just finished having lunch in Magma Park, something I do regularly, and was about to make a call to the office when a sports hopper appeared overhead. Pursued by two police cruisers. The next thing I knew, one of the cruisers opened fire. The sports hopper was blasted out of the sky. There was no warning given. The driver didn't have a chance. That's a lie! Huh? Easy, Arvin. Officer Haldane, this may not be a court of law, but this hearing still has rules of procedure. Sit down, please. Let me remind you, Mr. Yorba, that although this internal affairs panel is reviewing the events in an officer-involved shooting, you, sir, can and will be charged with perjury if you give false testimony. It's the truth. Can you explain why, in your statement taken immediately after the incident, you said, as the police cruisers continued to pursue the sports hopper, the driver leaned out of the window of the hopper with a blaster and started firing. I made that statement at the time because I was afraid for my life. Ask your bailiff. I'm telling the truth. The officers flying the cruiser that fired its cannons. Can you identify them? Yes, I can. After the hopper crashed, the cruisers landed close by and the cops got out. I'll never forget their faces. It was Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane. They shot that man out of the sky without provocation murdered him in cold blood. Welcome to Mainframe 88. Authorized personnel only. Please enter your password. I'm up to six clicks a day on the turbo, followed by a hundred sit-ups, sixty shrugs, fifty omelets. Stop it! I hate just listening to you. No pain, no gain. The only exercise I like is the 12 ounce curl. Alto brew, by the can. <laughs> what do you got, Slomo? The results of your annual physicals. Please examine for inaccuracies, then insert your signature code and return for mainframe processing. Adios. Hey, there must be some mistake. Uh, I don't feel very well. I, I need a glass of water or something. Hey, Arn. Hey, what's up with him? Are you me, Mr. Health Guru? What's the matter, Tookie? You his mother or something? 
What have you done this time, Romek? You know, we entered the top cop of the week competition? Yeah. I enhanced his record. It now reads that Oren is as fit as an 85-year-old Creon. <laughs> Aaron Bailiff says he was telling the truth. Oh, well, that makes me feel better. It went... Maybe they're in it together or something. In what together? Some kind of conspiracy to discredit us or something? <laughs> You're starting to sound paranoid, Haldane. Well, I'm paranoid? We got a big trial coming up this week, remember? Vanis Olvera, big shot crime boss, star witness. Yeah, let it do it. Come on, Haldane. Come on what? The guy calls us murderers, the bailiff says he's telling the truth, and that doesn't bother you at all? Well, I don't much like being called a murderer either, but Slow-Mo and Jane are due to testify this afternoon, remember? Right. What am I worried about? It's me. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Ah, Lieutenant. Officer Haldane, there you are. What's up, Slomo? Damon Reseda has just arrived at Docking Bay 6. Give us a clue, Slomo. You have to give him your deposition pertaining to the Vanus Alvera case. Tell me something, Slomo. Why would Alvera's defense attorney want to take depositions from two prosecution witnesses? Ah, uh, good question. It is an enigma. What a surprise. Alvera is trying to discredit us. Funny, Brogan. Thank you. Slomo, I need you. Officer Carson, dost thou not bring me letters from the friar? Romeo and Juliet, Act 5, Scene 1. Now drop it. The mainframe's dumping sectors like there's no tomorrow. Who said office work was dull? Let's go. This is Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane. This is Cambria Elon on detached service from Interplanetary PD. Hello. So you must be the VIP that's been getting the guided tour all day. I don't know about the VIP part, but yes. You're doing the information exchange for interplanetary. So they tell me. He seems remarkably calm to me, Jane. Oh, what's going on? Well, we heard about the witness this morning, so um, I told Cambio that you'd probably be running around like a headless lizard. Come on, Jane. Hey. You know. What? Who's that? King of Sleaze, Damon Reseda. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Let me show you the rest of the station. What? I think that should do it. What would I do without you, Slamo? Do what thou canst. I will not go today. No, nor tomorrow. Not till I please myself. Taming of the shrew. Act three, scene two. Brogan, Haldane, this is Venus Salvira's lawyer, Damon Reseda. Reseda, I know, we met. You're late, gentlemen. And you're a jerk, so I guess that just about makes us even, huh? You understand, of course, that all remarks made during this meeting are being recorded and may be presented as evidence in a court of law. Now, my client's waiting. Ah, uh, Lieutenant Brogan, Officer Haldane. It's good to see you again. Does he have to be here? My client has the legal right to hear the accusations made against him. He has that right, but he must remain silent. Hmm. Olvera, I accuse you of dealing in black crystal. This is not the trial, Brogan. I'm just here to record what you say you saw. Now, who wants to go first? Oh, I'll go. For the record, this is Officer Jack Haldane, 88th Precinct. And on the night in question, myself and my partner, Lieutenant Patrick Brogan, were on a stakeout in the Wharf District when I saw the most grotesque sight I had ever seen, ah. Venice <clears throat> Olvera. <clears throat> Officer Haldane, keep the personal observations out of this. Right, right. I'm sorry, sorry. I apologize. Where was I? The uh, stakeout. 
Well, at that point, my partner pointed out what a disgusting, obese, and smelly... You're gonna pay for that hell day, do you know that? Are we still recording? <laughs> we have to do these depositions more often. They're like therapy. <laughs> You're losing it, man. Hey, slow-mo. Hey, hey, whoa, easy, buddy, easy. Alert, alert, my data banks are crashing. My data banks are crashing. My data banks are crashing. My, my, my data, my, my data, my, my, my. Not again. Hey, Tuck, any word yet on slow mo status? Not really. Damn. Just ate my morning's work, an eight-page report. Ooh, that hurts. Hey, but I just heard something that might cheer you up. Oh, well, yeah? Aaron just dropped out of the top cop competition. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> There's the killer. Slomo must have been infected when he tried to stop the sector dumping. It's a polymorphic virus, spreads through systems like self-mutating disease. Nasty stuff. How'd it get in there? We'll never know. Polymorphs rewrite their own code strings. Generational masking, it's called. That way, there's no path to follow back to the programmer. Damage? Slow-mo, obviously. And we lost data in a number of sectors in the mainframe. But they're all backed up. Like we found it so soon. What about slow-mo? Can you fix him? Try. Is he still gonna have his memory? He's got to uh, testify at an IA hearing this afternoon. I appreciate that, Lieutenant, but I can't see it happening. Look, slow mo's neuron networks are tamper proof, even by this kind of virus. It's getting to the data, that's the problem. All his secondary systems are locked up, and right now I don't know how to unlock them. Well, slow mo's part of the team. Do what you can. <sighs> well, I've got some buddies in research and development at Cyber Dynamics. They're working on a self-repair software. I'll twist a few arms. Break them if you have to. You got it, Lieutenant. Good luck at the hearing. Don't worry about us. We got Castle on our side. You be nice to her. Always. <laughs> Canst thou not minister to a mind disease? This slow-mo thing's starting to worry me. Nah, broken. I think you're just being paranoid. Lucida, what are you doing here? It's a public hearing. I don't think you answered the lieutenant's question. Isn't it obvious? If you two have perjured yourself in this hearing, it's going to cast some serious doubts on your evidence against my client. Excuse me. Come along, people. Take your seats, please. The hearing is now in session. I trust you all had a nice lunch. Next, we have Officer Castle. Officer Castle, can you give us your version of the events leading up to the death of Naxa Simi? Yes, sir. My partner, Officer Took, was giving evidence in a capital case. I was accompanying the station RSA back to... Slomo. Yes, sir, I was accompanying Slomo back to the station after the RSA convention when a call came in from Central Tracking. The suspect, Naxa Simi, had robbed the first Altorian trust on Saba Beta. He had shot a god and fled the scene. His hopper was now entering atmosphere and headed for Demeter City. Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane were already in pursuit when we arrived on the scene. How do you want to play this one? This is our caller, Officer Castle. Make yourself scarce. Officer Castle, the lieutenant's command would seem to be a direct contradiction of standard procedure. I recommend that you seek clarification. Um, Lieutenant, I'd like to stay with you for a little while longer, if you don't mind. Just don't get in our way, all right?
like our bad guy wants to play tag. Well, he's definitely it. Cut the chatter, you two. with this guy. Lock and load the cannons, Haldane. Lieutenant, I don't think... That's right, Castle. You don't think. Let's do this guy, Haldane. You're the man, Brogan. Cannons locked and loaded. No, Brogan! I tried to put my cruiser in Brogan and Haldane's line of fire. But they fired anyway. That was murder. Order! What just happened? Order! Or I'll clear this room! Officer Castle. Are you saying the suspect in the hopper did not fire on Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane? Yes. You do realize this is in direct contradiction to your prior statement? I'm withdrawing my prior statement, sir. It was made under duress. Be smart. When Internal Affairs asks about the shoot-down, you be sure and say it was righteous. You'll have a longer career. Bogan and Haldane shot that man out of the sky without provocation. Murdered him in cold blood. right. I thought about what you said, Brogan, and I came to the conclusion that the only thing that matters is the truth. How did they expect us to get any work done, Fredo? The whole system's a mess. Well, that's not the only mess around here. Well, what's this? Oren's resignation. He's leaving the force in a month. What? Why would he go and do a crazy thing like that? Don't know. Something about health problems? Oh, jeez, he's gonna kill me. It was Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane. They shot that man out of the sky without provocation murdered him in cold blood. Brogan and Haldane shot that man out of the sky without provocation. Murdered him in cold blood. It was Lieutenant Brogan. Exactly the Officer same Haldane. language. Delivered exactly the same way. Yeah, that coupled with the fact that Sloma mysteriously goes down, the only witness that can't lie. I can see and hear, gentlemen. But the powers that be may see and hear things differently. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Downtown, they're saying it smells like two of my officers might be covering their tracks. Yober and Castle have already accused you of coercion. You were around slow-mo half the morning. You could have fed him the virus. Yeah, all right, I see your point. You do? Well, well, bottom line, for appearances, I'm taking you two off active duty pending the outcome of the IA hearing. Oh, that's just great, Cap. Calm down, Haldane. Look. Look at it from my point of view. I've got one trusted officer claiming two other trusted officers have committed murder. We didn't murder anybody. Right. Now, unofficially, I'm ordering you two to get to the bottom of this before it tears this precinct apart. 
Okay, so who do we trust? I'm sorry, I can't help you there, fellas. I gotta talk to Jane. Hold on, man. Brogan, she thinks we're murderers. And no amount of talk is gonna change that thought. All right, so what do we do? Make sure Slomo gets back online. He's our only hope. I had to cash in some favors with the boys down at CyberD. Say hello to one of the sweetest little diagnostic self-repair programs ever designed. Will it work? Well, it's been cooking for a half an hour. Let's see. Come on, Slomo. Speak to me like an honest drovia. Uh, much ado, Shakespeare. A little game we play. Whoa, 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 what's happening? The self-repair interface is kicking feedback through the audio circuits. Don't worry, this is a good sign. How long? Too early to tell. Uh, look, Carson, keep Slomo's progress under your hat for a while, all right? Sure thing, Lieutenant. You realize his memory can't be altered. That's what we're counting on. So do you think we can trust Carson? We have to. I don't know about you, Brogan, but I'm starting to get confused. Okay, what do we have? slomo has gone haywire, and somebody got to Jane. Yeah, but that's where I lose it. I mean, come on, Janie's as straight as they come. But if the Tarn Bailiff says she's telling the truth, we know that she's lying. I don't know, Bergen. It doesn't add up. Well, there's only one rational possibility I can think of. Her memory's been altered. How? I don't know. Let me work on that. In the meantime, why don't you talk to Reseda? Why Reseda? Because if Oberi is trying to discredit us, Reseda's a good place to start. I don't understand it, Tuck. I know what I said to Internal Affairs happened the way I remembered it. But it couldn't have, could it? You mean you're not sure? No. No, I'm sure. I can see it as plain as day. Officer Helding, can we talk for a moment? Sure. I think I can help you. What do you mean? I mean, I think Miles Yorber and Officer Castle had their memories altered. Well, that's, uh, that's taking a pretty big risk, isn't it, Cambria? I mean, rumor has it I'm a cold-blooded killer. No, you're not. Look, there were peculiar mannerisms and phrase repetitions I recognize in Castle's testimony. I've seen these symptoms before in the Delphi system. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to the IA chairman right now. It's not that simple. Although we know what's happening is going to be almost impossible to prove. Maybe if you tell me the truth, every little detail, I can approach Castle and try to convince her that she's not thinking straight. I don't know. That sounds like a long shot. It's worth a try. OK. It happened pretty much the way Janie said. Except for the end. This is the police. Descend to ground level immediately. Where's he going? Damn it. Castle. I've got him, Lieutenant. That's an HDB. If you do not descend immediately, we will have to use force. Brogan, I'm on my own here. I can't arm my cannons. All right, peel off and we'll take it. We don't have any choice here. Cannons armed. Fire went locked. So that's what happened. You were protecting Castle. Oh, well, the guy didn't give us much choice. Are you absolutely sure about that? 
Why not run through it again for me? One more time. I've had it with this guy. Lock and load the cannons, Haldane. Lieutenant, I don't think that... That's right, Castle. You don't think. Let's do this guy. I'm not gonna do this, Brogan. Fire the cannons. Now! No, Brogan! Memories are funny things, Haldane. They can play tricks on you. New ones can appear almost any time. Jane seemed fine an hour before the hearing, and at the hearing, she went off. It's gotta be hypnosis. That's what I figured, but is there anything we can do to overcome it? I'm not sure. I mean, I've worked with hypnotic suggestion and post-op. It's very powerful. Yeah, I know. That's why I called you. Well, okay, look, I've got to talk to some people. All right, um, time's short and we need some answers. Um, honey, don't call me. I'll get back to you. Okay. I don't know what it's about, Bert. He just said he wanted to see you. It's all right. He doesn't even know we're here. What was that for? Fulfilling my fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you need to see me? I've been talking with Olvera. What? That's right. The plan's changed. Terrific. Nice of Olvera to let me know. Uh, what's he have in mind? He wants us to frame Brogan and Haldane for another murder. Why? The plan's working like a dream. He wants a little extra insurance. Who's the lucky victim? You are. No! no! Rosita just started arguing, and well, the next thing I knew, uh, Brogan just blew him away. You okay, Haldane? Uh, uh, i better, Captain. Any chance that Brogan's still here, Sergeant? But nothing's left of docking bays in the last half hour. All right. I want a guard put on the IA hearing. Nobody goes in or out. I want this station sealed. Then find Brogan. And, uh... No deadly force, Sergeant. Listen, Orrin, uh, we gotta talk. I know we've had this problem with the lieutenant and stuff, and I haven't had a chance look, to... Look, can this wait? Now is not a good time for me, okay? Romick, Oren, report. Nothing to report on this level, Sarge. You check level three. You two check the docking bay. Jane, anything your end? There's no sign of him here. I don't like this, Janie. Remember, people, we all know and respect Lieutenant Brogan, but you must consider him armed and dangerous. Terrific. Sorry about this, Lieutenant. Yeah, please don't think this is personal or nothing. Uh, mind telling me what this is all about, guys? Well, there's a shyster ambulance chaser down in interrogation with a neat little hole where his ticker used to be. And Haldane says you're the shooter. Captain. We have him, sir. We're bringing him up. Right. You stay put, Haldane. 
That's an order. Camber, something is wrong. I feel like I should be doing something. Don't you remember? The captain told you what to do. Brolin's gone over to the other side. He's a rogue cop who cannot be trusted. Do you understand? Of course I understand. I saw him kill Reseda. I want you to find him and kill him. It'll be my pleasure. Brogan, why? Why'd you do it? Those weapons on stun? Of course mm -hmm. they are. Why? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's why. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, ca Captain. Sir, we, uh, we, uh, we sort of had a problem. Can you hear me? Uh, Come on, uh, I need uh, you. Broken, I've been waiting. Are you okay? Yeah, never better. You got anything yet? Yeah. Captain, we've got an unauthorized transmission. Broken? That's my guess. It's scrambled. Location? B section. Let's go, Castle Took! The bottom line is almost every kind of hypnosis is reversible. The victims invariably respond to associational therapy. In English, Sal. The memory is formed out of association, right? So the idea is to expose the victim to facts they cannot challenge, and therefore forcing the true memory to reassert itself. Act two, scene, scene one, Lieutenant Brogan. Nice one, Brogan. He could be calling from anywhere in the station, Captain. What the hell are you trying to do, Brogan? I I don't feel too hot. No kidding. How long before you're fully operational, Slow? That work will require a prolonged period of dot dot dot. Okay, diagnostic. okay. Forget fully. When can you access your memory banks? No time like the pr present. All right. Access your video record of the Nexus Simi pursuit. No, 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 no problem. R, 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 E. Slow mo, get on with it. Nexus Simi pursuit accessed. Would you like me to re re replay it? Yeah, no. Can you uh, plug into the mainframe? Do you think that's prudent? I still have a ROM a ache from the last time. It's okay, it's okay. Carson found the virus. Here you go. Go for it. Stop! I knew you'd try to destroy Salmo. What are you talking about? He's the only one that knows you killed Naxus Simi. That's nuts. And I saw you shoot Reseda. 
Oh, oh, slow down, Jack. That never happened and you know it. All I know is what I saw. You're a dirty cop, Brogan. Now Polly told me to kill you. Come on, Jack, think. Somebody got to Jane, remember? Now they've gotten to you. No. Haldane, Haldane, you know me. No, I don't. Okay, fine. You think I wasted Obera's lawyer. But come on, man. Podley would never give an order to kill somebody. I don't know. You said Cambria. What about her? Think about it, Jack. Think! Stop! Stop saying that. I must shoot you, Brogan. No! Fight it! Lieutenant, do you wish to continue? <laughs> Go ahead. Now shoot me, bro. No. I got a better idea. Do it, slow mo. This is the police to send to ground level immediately. immediately. Yeah, it looks like our bad guy wants to play tag. Well, he's definitely it. What the devil? That's Sloma's video record. This, this is the is police. police. Descend, Descend to ground down. level immediately. Where's he going? Damn it. Castle. I've got him, Lieutenant. Hey! If you do not descend, descend immediately, we will have to use force. Castle, what the hell was all that about? Rogan, I'm on my own here. I can't arm my cannons. All right, peel off and we'll take him. Cannons armed. Fire when locked. That's what really happened. Oh, what have I done? Nothing that can't be undone, Jim. Rogan, I'm no, It's so okay, I'm... it's okay. I think how Dane feels. You want to clue the rest of us in, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. It was Cambria. She uses hypnosis to bend people's minds. She killed Reseda, then she did her little number on Haldane. Well, where is she now? Hello, Cambria. Jack. You know, I remember now. The truth. You're confused. If you'll just think for a minute. Oh, I am thinking. You're under arrest. Jack, try to remember. Just try. How could I forget? It is the finding of this hearing that the allegations made against Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane were part of a conspiracy to discredit them, initiated by one Sylvanus Olvera, and intended to prevent the aforementioned officers from testifying against him in an unrelated matter. Oh, you stupid fool! Shut up. This panel further finds that the witnesses who gave false testimony against Brogan and Haldane were coerced against their will by one Cambria Elon and cannot be held accountable for their actions. We have now considered all these facts, including the true account of the shooting of Naxus Simi, and we find that Lieutenant Patrick Brogan and Officer Jack Haldane have acted at all times in accordance with correct police procedure. This hearing is concluded. Um, can't make it at seven tonight, has eight. Make what? You've forgotten? Well, Cambria did mess up your memory, didn't she? No, no, my memory's just fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you remember last equinite at Saducci's? 
<laughs> nice try, Castle. Nice try. If you say so. But that's not an answer. I can't believe you've forgotten about my place afterwards. Took was on station cool. The candles. This is one of your little jokes, isn't it? Isn't it? All right, I admit it, it was a stupid prank. I feel really awful about it. Look, here. Here's the hundred credits you would have won off me at the competition. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Great! Now I can put that down payment on that new Omni Gym. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys knew all the time? Slow mo check with me before you could file that bogus report. RSA units can't lie. You should know that by now, partner. Now, uh, what should I do with this resignation? Don't give me any ideas. You lost your memory, but you sure didn't lose your appetite. Yeah, but Cambria left me with one memory. Yeah, what was that? The look on her face when I hit her with that stun shot. <laughs> 211 in progress. First Altorian Trust. Suspect driving a blue sports hopper. All units respond. Same bank and the same type of vehicle? What was it they used to say? Time, Time to, to rock, rock and roll. roll. <laughs> 